Hey guys, and welcome back to Crouton Cracker Jacks. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make peanut butter rice crispy treats. These little treats are absolutely delicious. They are soft and they're sweet and they're sticky, topped with milk chocolate. They're just absolutely irresistible and they're super easy to make. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, because we are working with a candy of sorts, we need to have everything prepared ahead of time. So when we get going, everything's ready for us. We don't have to stop and things start to harden up on us. So I'm getting my dish ready here, or pan if you will. It is an eight inch by eight inch glass pan because I like thick Rice Krispie treats. If you like them thinner, use a nine by 13 pan. And I'm just gonna line my pan with some aluminum foil. This is going to A, facilitate easy cleanup, and it is also going to help us get our Rice Krispie treats out of the pan. Because if you've ever made Rice Krispie treats, you know what a pain it can be to get them out of a pan. So, uh, and because we're working with this candy and we don't want anything to stick, I'm going to grease the foil with some vegetable oil. You could also use butter or Crisco, um, you know, whatever you want to use uh, that you normally use to grease. So be sure and cover all the sides of your foil, all the way up the sides, all along the bottom. Be sure and get in the corners because that's where things tend to stick. And then just go ahead and take your pan and set that off to the side. Now to make our peanut butter candy, make sure that we are going to coat our Rice Krispies or not Rice Krispies with. Uh, I've got a pan over medium heat here. It's actually between medium and medium high. I'm going to add in one cup of corn syrup. This is light corn syrup, Kara brand, if it makes any difference. Uh, if you are not in the United States, use glucose syrup, which is pretty much the same thing. But there is no alternative to the corn syrup. You know, it's just, it's part of Rice Krispie Treats. And then you wanna add in one cup of white granulated sugar, as well as one tablespoon of water. Now the traditional Rice Krispie Treat or peanut butter Rice Krispie Treat recipe does not call for water. I use water because it helps to, this mixture come together, helps the sugar and corn syrup come together, um, but it also guarantees that they stay soft. If you've made these before using just corn syrup, peanut butter, and sugar, you know that they can kind of have a tendency to get hard on you if you overcook it. Adding the water helps prevent that. So just using a spatula, I'm gonna mix this mixture together over medium high heat. Stir this constantly while it's coming up to heat and you know it is ready when it starts to bubble around the outside of your pan. Once it starts to bubble, get it off of heat. And once you take that off heat, continue stirring it, kind of help to cool it down a little bit. And then you wanna add in one cup of creamy peanut butter. I'm using creamy peanut butter. If you wanna use chunky peanut butter, by all means, go ahead. I like mine smooth, so that's what I'm using. And again, I'm just gonna mix this until the peanut butter is mixed into the corn syrup and sugar mixture. Before I get going too far, I'm also going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract, as well as a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Again, neither of these ingredients is in the original peanut butter rice crispy treat recipe. They're just what I like to add to mine. The salt kind of helps to neutralize, so it's not just so cloyingly sweet and all you taste is sugar. It kind of mellows everything out. Um, and of course, vanilla, vanilla makes everything better too. You just wanna mix all these ingredients together until everything is combined and you don't have any chunks of peanut butter left, unless of course you're using chunky peanut butter. And then you wanna pour your mixture over six cups of puffed rice cereal, technical term, not Rice Krispies basically. If you wanna use Rice Krispies, by all means go ahead, but these are not real Rice Krispies. So go ahead and get that peanut butter mixture in there. And then using a spatula, you want to gently fold these ingredients together. Gently fold that peanut butter and sugar mixture into the Rice Krispies. Don't go all hog wild with a spoon because you're just gonna break up your cereal. Uh, you want your cereal to remain whole as much as possible. So just gently fold this together, but you need to work kind of quick because this mixture does harden up and get really sticky really quick. Um, so do the best that you can. And once all your Rice Krispies are evenly coated, go ahead and dump this mixture all into your prepared pan. Now you can use a spatula for this process. I'm gonna use my hands just because it's easy. This mixture is not overly hot. You know, you're not gonna burn your fingertips or anything. So don't worry about that. But in order to prevent my fingers from sticking to this and making a huge mess, I'm going to oil my fingertips and gently pat this out. Now you don't wanna press this really, really hard uh, because then you will make, you know, rock hard treats. Um, you want, you know, those little pockets in there. So be sure and get into the corners so your treats are evenly thick. And then you wanna go ahead and let this cool for a few minutes before you put your chocolate on top. Now to prepare the chocolate, 
I'm doing this over a stovetop. You can also do this in the microwave. That's perfectly fine. But stovetop, I've just got a pan of some simmering water here, and I'm going to put my bowl on top. I've got two cups of milk chocolate chocolate chips in here. You could also use semi-sweet if you wanted to, or dark chocolate would be fine if that's your preference of chocolate. And I'm just going to stir this chocolate constantly over that low simmering water. But once most of your chocolate is melted, you know, it's about halfway melted or so, go ahead and take your bowl off of heat. The residual heat will help melt the chocolate uh, and you won't burn it this way. So uh, just go ahead and keep stirring it until your chocolate is nice and smooth and you don't have any more chunks in your chocolate. And then you can go ahead and pour your melted chocolate over your Rice Krispie treats. Again, using a spatula, I'm just gonna smooth my chocolate out all the way to the edges, um, cover the entire top, smooth it out, make it nice and even because um, you want an even thickness of chocolate over all of your treats. And then you want to set this off either on your countertop or in the refrigerator to cool completely. In the refrigerator, it's going to take about an hour. Countertop, it's going to take a couple hours. Once they are set up, you can go ahead and remove the foil from the sides of your treats. Uh, this is where you will see if you greased your foil well enough or not. Uh, it should just come right off. And then you can go ahead and cut these into bite-sized pieces or bigger pieces if you'd like. I like all my pieces nice and uniform. I don't like the edge pieces or the corners. So I'm gonna cut the edges off of my Rice Krispie Treats before I cut them into squares. And these edges are the chef's delight. You get to have these all to yourself as a little reward for making these. So put them in a baggie, hide them from everybody else in the family, enjoy them. Because I'm using the eight by eight inch pan, I'm just gonna cut this into 16 equal pieces. Go ahead and store these in an airtight container. Uh, that will guarantee that they stay nice and fresh and soft and sticky. Uh, be careful though, if you put these in the refrigerator, they will get hard on you. Um, if you let them come up to room temperature again, they'll soften up a bit. But yeah, there you go. Soft and sticky and sweet, delicious chocolate topped peanut butter Rice Krispie treats. I hope you guys enjoy. If you give this recipe a try, let me know how you like it down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it and subscribe for more deliciousness. Thanks again for watching and we will see you next time.